What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, uh, I saw this, and I wasn't going to talk about this, you know, because it's not a real sports angle to this. But, but I, I noticed something when I read the story further that just further shows the lack of character that Larsa Pippen has as a person. All right. So I'll put a link to this article from TMZ in the pinned comment in the comment section below. So the article talks about how Larsa Pippen is upset at someone that she considered a friend of hers named Julia Limagova. And apparently Julia Limagova asked Marcus to take some photos of her. Uh, using his cam uh, using his phone, excuse me, camera phone. Now these photos were uh, of her smiling, uh, like like pose shots, not sexual, but you know, smiling. And I guess maybe uh, you know he was going to send them, I guess to to her phone or her boyfriend, whatever. I don't know. But apparently, Larsa got enraged at Julia for asking Marcus to do that. Now, I see that uh, Julia is her real Housewives co-star. I don't watch any of this stuff, so she felt like that was inappropriate for Julia to do that. Now... It, it, it with this situation, right? Is that inappropriate? Let's, let's just read from the article. So, Larsa Pippen is enraged at her Real Housewives co-star Julia Limagova, who had the nerve, in Larsa's opinion, to ask Marcus Jordan to take pictures of her while they were at BraveCon. Sources with direct knowledge tell TMZ Julia asked Marcus to snap a few photos during last month's big convention in Las Vegas using his phone. We're told they were innocent, smiling shots. Our sources say no one around thought Julia's request was odd. Well, no one except for Larsa Pippen. We're told she seemed a bit jealous based on the fact she started complaining about the incident to other cast members. We're told Larsa implied to others the photos were Julia's way of trying to seduce Marcus. And she wasn't cool with her asking her man to take them especially on her on his own phone. After BraveCon wrapped, Julia asked Larsa if she could get Marcus's pics of her, but when Larsa went radio silent, the other ladies filled Julia in on what Larsa had been saying, and now they're giving each other the cold shoulder. Well, you know, That, to me, shows that 304s know each other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That that shows right there that a 304 knows a fellow 304. So, I'm definitely not taking up for the other one. Because, you know what I'm saying, birds of a feather flock together. But the thing that I'm trying to figure out is... Why are you so, you know what I'm saying? Why are you so overtly jealous over something like that? Like that threatens you? Yeah, we know what it is. Because this is, this is your achievement. See, that's your meal ticket right there. That's your golden goose. And you watching that golden goose like a hawk. It's not about you really loving Marcus. It's about what Marcus can potentially get you in the long run. You know his daddy's 60. He's a young 60, I guess, but he's still 60. This is a dangerous woman, bro. But my thing, too, is how can you be getting jealous about stuff like that 
when you have an OnlyFans, you have an OnlyFans that's been up for years, where you have all types of sexually suggestive photos on there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not to mention the fact that you probably aren't even replying to most of the pe- uh, most of the people on your OnlyFans. You probably got like people that are working for you that answer that pretend to be you. You have people who, you know what I'm saying, aren't Marcus taking photos of you, you know, with your thong on and your boobies halfway out and your ass in the curve, you know what I'm saying? Like, so what the fuck are you doing getting mad at somebody that you know? Like, it's just bullshit to me, man. Like, the hypocrisy of this shit. The fuck is you to get mad? You know? But that's... You know, that that's a person that's not a trustworthy person because they think everybody like them. She's suspicious of everybody and everything because she knows she ain't shit. I read a lot of stuff about this woman, man. Allegedly. You know how when she was married to Scottie Pippen, she, uh, the nannies that they had, she treated them like crap. and You know what I'm saying? Uh, she used young men. For their money and their bodies. You know what I'm saying? I have my suspicions about other stuff that I can't prove. But I, I, you know, I think this is a woman who's predatory. She's about that money. She's about that bag. Michael Jordan better um, make some changes to his will. Because, you know what I'm saying? I, I think... That Marcus is under a spell when it comes to this woman, man. I think he's truly under a spell. So, you know, I, I have no respect for her whatsoever. I really don't. I just don't get it, man. I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand Marcus at this point, man. Like, I don't know, man. It's, it's sad to me. What the hell are you getting jealous about? You know what I'm saying? What What are you getting jealous of him taking a photo of someone that's supposed to be your friend? That's what I'm reading, at least. Now, I'm not, I'm not talking about him this TMZ article. For everything I've read, you know what I'm saying? That's supposed to be her friend. So if that's, just, if that's your friend, why are you jealous? See, y'all motherfuckers just alike. That's why. By the way, this is also a woman who recently revealed that I think a co-worker of hers, or, or a co-star, I mean, on that Real Housewives show has cancer, and she's promised that she wouldn't reveal that until the the other woman revealed that. The other woman told her that in secrecy, and then she went out, right out there and blurted it out. So, you know, so this is a woman that's all about clout, man. But that's it, man. That's all I got to say about it, man. This chick is ridiculous, man.